Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another cartoon TMNT video, and today I'm very stoked. A really good friend of mine uh, was able to grab this for me, right? So we're finally checking it out. This is one that I never saw in stores. Straight from the Negatoys Cartoon TMNT Target Store exclusive line, The Mutant Interest Story, featuring the ultimate April O'Neil. And on the box, it's got some gorgeous artwork of April and the turtles. And you get to open it up and you get a look-see of everything that this figure entails. You got nice photography, of course, April O'Neil doing her happy hour news thing. And you get to see the figure inside, along with... Well, not too much on the sides of the box. Basically just the text and the copy and all that. You get to see Aunt Aggie. <laughs> and what I actually really like is that you get a bit of a new write-up, specifically dealing with April O'Neil. So I definitely appreciate that, along with some nice artwork, of course. And you get to see lots of photos utilizing the accessories from all the wacky episodes that these accessories hail from. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that. Here's everything inside the box in case you need to do a double check and make sure you got it all, and here's the barcode as well. Now, these aren't hitting Target store shelves anymore, but they are on the NECA website if you wanna go ahead now and order direct if you miss this, like a lot of people seem to have done. So, this is gonna be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax. Grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new-ish, straight from NECA Toys' Target-exclusive cartoon at TMNT line, the ultimate April O'Neil. And this video is going to go a little bit different from my usual cartoon TMNT episodes, of course. You do get a ton of accessories in the box. We all know that. NECA Toys is very good with their cartoon TMNT line. But you get... Episode-specific accessories from the Maltese Hamster, it came from Beneath the Sewers, Case of the Killer Pizzas, Case of the Hot Kimono, Sleuth on the Loose, you get the idea, right? And all the accessories are nice, including a ton of extra hands, which, hey, when you want to pose out Miss O'Neill, you can definitely do so. But the real point of interest here is, of course, does this new April O'Neill surpass the old April O'Neil that they did a few years back. Now, what I do appreciate is that they've included three head portraits in the box. I can't honestly tell you I'm going to utilize the blindfolded April O'Neil. Yes, it's nice to have. Yes, it's nice for photography, but I'm not going to use that one. And I do like this head portrait. It's not my favorite. This is my favorite. I would say that is the cream of the crop, the best one out of the box for April O'Neil, and I totally dig that. And for the most part, this is utilizing parts and pieces from the last one, but with generally a new sculpt, new head portraits, you get the idea. And then of course the yellow on the jumpsuit is a little bit different. You know what, let me just show you, right? So you have the old April O'Neil, and now you have this new one from the cartoon TMNT line. And I'll be honest with you, I really wasn't one of those people that thought we needed an update. I was totally happy with the first release. I see now the differences, right? You can totally see that, yes, certain things needed tweaks here and there. I do honestly think the first April O'Neil goes better with the cartoon line, and this new April O'Neil is very detailed out. And in certain degrees, kind of makes me go, well, does she exactly fit within the cartoon TMNT line, right? I'm kind of balancing that out. It's not totally out of whack, but it's not exactly spot on either, right? And you can clearly see that this clamp thing works. Don't leave it on her too long. I ran into a thing where it pressed in some circles around her chest. I just heated her up and it fixed it. But you have all of the cartoon TMNT line, right? And then you have all these accessories, which again is always a lot of fun when you have this NECA toys line, all these little Easter eggs and whatnot, that's very cool. But to see this new April O'Neil with the cartoon TMNT line, I would say, yeah, it's pretty darn cool. I am happy with her overall. I know that a lot of people have said that her neck is too long. I can definitely see that. And if we're being honest, when you want to switch out the head portraits, that could be a total pain. 
definitely want to heat up the head portraits before swapping them out. But again, part of me goes, it doesn't exactly fit in a lot of different ways. Whereas I think this one fits better. And if you ever go back and watch the original cartoon, the character design for April O'Neil fluctuates every single episode. There's not one designated head portrait. But I have to tell you, this is fun to have. It does complete my collection, which I have to do it. But I'll tell you over and over, this was not one that I needed to see redone. Am I happy they did it? Sure. Yeah, it's nice to have an updated April O'Neil. And the head portraits are awesome. But there can be only one, right? It's only one April O'Neil. And I'm kind of leaning more towards the original one. I think she fits a little bit better with the line. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything cartoon TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, now in all honesty, I don't want to see them redo any others. Just bring on new characters. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.